Well, hey there, Apple developers. Let's have a little showdown here with the App Store's uh, app analytics section versus the search ads. All right, so we're gonna see uh, if my money was well spent. Now, what we're looking at is the uh, current month. So this is gonna be December. So basically, uh, December through whatever today's date is, December 10th or so. So about 10 days, okay? And I went kind of heavy with an ad budget over here. I spent about $520. Uh, and then again, we're gonna we're gonna look at this from December 1st to 9th. Basically, yesterday hasn't come in yet on, on the analytics, but this will be enough to kind of compare. And I think you guys are gonna see some interesting results. So uh, first off, uh, let's go back over here to the search ads. If you guys aren't familiar with the basic search ads, you're, you're just paying for an install, okay? That's what that CPI is, cost per install. I put in here the most I'm willing to spend. Fortunately, uh, it didn't get near 45 cents. It was, it's been averaging out at about 30 cents. And uh, this is different from the uh, advanced version of search ads where you're basically just paying per tap, okay? So that means you get charged when somebody taps on your app, not an install, they tap to just check it out further in the store and then they decide whether or not they're gonna actually install it. So I like this a lot more and this this model works out way better if, uh, if your app is not free because if you're just paying for a straight install and it costs two bucks or something like that, for the install, you know that you made money. Uh, where things get a little bit fishy, and that's what this video is about, is is uh, when there's an in-app purchase, you got to kind of figure out, okay, were, were the people that installed based on the search ads, are they actually paying in the end, right? Uh, and we're going to figure that out. Uh, another big thing to notice over here is, is I'm only promoting this in two out of 13 storefronts, but uh, I, I kind of axed most storefronts uh, yesterday, all right? So I took off doo -doo -doo -doo, most of these and you'll see why in just a moment. So I'm gonna hit cancel over here. I'm not gonna make any changes to that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this file over here, results by storefront. We're gonna take a look at that uh, in just a moment. So let's flip back over here to our analytics, go over here to the metrics section. And if you do have in-app purchases, uh, go over to here, all right? So again, I've got this filtered down to, to just the, the, the current month basically. And uh, you can see 112 in-app purchases. That's pretty good. But let's take a look at a particular store, uh, storefront. So I'm going to go and type in Germany over here, right? So there's our ter territory of Germany. Okay, that sinks down to four in-app purchases. Um, is that good? Is it bad? Well, let's figure out how much money we actually spent uh, uh, <laughs> marketing to the Germans. Uh, so I'm going to go over here to numbers. And this is that file that I downloaded. You can see start date. December 1, end date December 11th. So this is actually a little bit more real time. And again, I shut off Germany yesterday for this very reason. The spend was $286. So roughly half of that money that I spent uh, went to courting the Germans. Uh, so they, they installed 954 of the, the app. But when you go back over here, they only ended up purchasing four times within it. Now, granted, that's 900, the app is sitting in 950 devices, so they could purchase down the road, you know, try it out for a little bit, but I, I, I'm not gonna rely on that, okay? Uh, that's a lot of money to spend for just uh, four people to end up uh, end up purchasing it. And so what I ended up doing is kind of going through uh, this, you know, across the board over here. Um, Italy, I think I had zero. Uh, Mexico, um, actually, I think Mexico, that's fine. I don't remember that number being that low. I, I shut them off. Did I shut them off prematurely? I don't know. Um, anyway, the, the big winners here were, were the U.S. and uh, Canada combined total over here. That was only about 120 bucks, and they accounted for most of the purchases. So if I were to just knock that off over there, United States. All right, there we go. Okay, so 37. Um, Canada, I think, was another 10. Uh, well, anyway. Well, but here's the other thing. <laughs> the video is not over yet. Uh, let's take a look at this. So go over here to your source type. Now your source, your search ads um, get uh, categorized under here under App Store search. Maybe we, we should lead off with this. What's our App Store browse? These are just people that were just browsing the App Store that decided, that decided to install. 75, okay, all right, Oop. I'm getting nervous now. So if I go over here to source type, app store search, right? 
This is people that either typed into the search bar or found it through. Ooh, not good. Look at that. Only three in-app purchases altogether. So one of those Germans, <laughs> hey, you know, they, I, we're not even filtering by German. We're filtering by everybody now. So across the board, United States, Canada, all those people, uh, they've only accounted for three in-app purchases, right? So that's $520 for three in-app purchases. Uh, so what does that tell me? Well, first off, there's a kind of a question mark on this. I've got this unavailable unavailable section over here that also accounts for 23. I don't know exactly what those are, okay? I'm thinking there are people that have had this app longer than the store, that the, than the, um, Maybe this metric has been around. I don't know. Uh, again, I, I, I don't think I'm going to attribute them to this app store search. So if, if you look at that, then you go, well, none of this made any sense. None of this was worth it. But here's a silver lining here. And this is why I might keep, I'll probably keep advertising for a bit. Uh, this, just this amount of installs has pushed me back up into the top uh, 200 under the the free section in the messages store okay so ding 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 that, that should be a little light bulb for some of you you can buy your way in to that top 200 you know and i think that that's probably accounting for some of the uh, increased uh browsing that i've seen so if i were to just go over here that, let's not even worry about in-app purchases let's just look at um the app units uh, and if I go now, if I go back about 30 days or so, I do see now this this spike over here was from updating the app and I guess just well, I don't know re-downloads or something like that. But when I started those ads, which is actually kind of right around here, I, I definitely have seen an uptick in um, in these just people browsing and finding it that way, uh, which is probably attributed to it being back up into the the. The top free section now that uh, you if you're if you've got a regular old ios app not a messages app i mean you you really can't buy your way into the that top 200 without spending ninety thousand dollars or so it's a whole different ball game but um but you can uh, you certainly can if if you're uh you know if you're if you're willing to drop two three thousand dollars in a month or so uh if you're gonna do that um i would say you know you gotta <laughs> you gotta work all 13 of those storefronts and be willing to see numbers like this <laughs> you know 286 dollars in germany and uh, not many installs but that is that's the marketing game right you know um so anyway uh i would uh, i i would definitely recommend you you, you you try it out, right? Certainly, if you've got an app that's just not in app purchase based, if, if it's uh, if it's just a cost per install, then it's easy money, right? Because you can go down here and you can see that I was doing this for basically every one of my uh, sticker packs. Uh, I was willing to, you know, I had some pretty high budgets on some of these ones, and uh, I mean, of course, it never got anywhere near the the budget. Uh, they just weren't serving out to that many. Uh, they weren't serving that many of these ads. Uh, but some of them, like I remember if I were to, to go back a couple months, like this, this one was making, you know, it, it, maybe there was like 10 installs or something like that. So five bucks, but, um, you had to pay to get, no, it's not right. It doesn't have any purchases. Oh, maybe it did. I can't remember now. Anyway, if you're wondering what, what, why do I only have one, uh, app that's being advertised now? I had to, uh, consolidate my apps. Uh, that's another big thing that's going on, but I think that's uh, that's a video in itself. What's up with the consolidation of apps in the App Store? So maybe this is a... I'll end it here, and that'll be a teaser for a future video. Anyway, I hope that's uh, helped you guys out. Just uh, Just pay attention to your metrics.